Welcome everyone. So you get this stupid issue when you're trying to install iOS 14. It says unable to check for update and error occurred. So you tap on try again and it doesn't work. Well, this tutorial will show you how to fix that unable to check for updates error, which you will receive when trying to update to iOS 14. So this will happen for a couple of reasons. The first one, I doubt it's you, but you didn't restart your device before checking the software update page. There's a 50% chance you'll get that issue. Usually swiping back and tapping software update will fix it. But for the 99% of you who are watching this tutorial, who are having this issue, let's get started. So this is an issue with uncovered jailbreak. Now with uncovered jailbreak, it actually blocks updates. So when you go to the software update page, it's gonna be blocked. How do we fix this? Well, you're gonna to have to open up uncover and now you're gonna find settings. And you're going to see right here, disable auto updates, turn this off. There we go. Tap on done. And you need to re jailbreak your device. Now, listen to this. If you're running Uncover 5.2.0, follow those instructions. If you're running Uncover 5.0.1 and version 5, the logic is switched. So, when you have disable auto updates on, on those older uncover versions, it actually turns it off. So, if you're running those older uncover versions, turn on. Disable auto updates. If you're running on cover 5.2.0 or newer, turn off disable auto updates. Now, do not restore or refresh your device. If you do, you'll still have the unable to check for updates. Just tap on jailbreak, right? And re jailbreak your device. If you did run restore or FS to try and fix it, you're going to have to fully jailbreak your device in order for this to be fixed. For some reason, Uncover still haven't added the feature to remove the disable auto updates option when you are restoring rootfs. I don't get it, but there you go. So let's open up settings and let's find general. Let's find software update. And this time we'll see the jackpot. iOS 14 should be showing up. I'm gonna make sure that I do have the profile. So I do, and we'll go software update right here. And we just need to wait. Worst comes to worst, we will need to restart our device in order for it to fully show up. And we might also need to jailbreak one more time. So I'll wait for 10 more seconds. If it doesn't show up, I will restart my device and then the update will be fixed. So I'm not going to cut this tutorial because, you know, I don't want to switch out the iPhones and then, you know, suddenly the update shows up because this tutorial does work, you know. I don't need to fake this tutorial to prove it's working, although we are having a bit of issue here. So I'm actually going to restart my device just to be sure, right? Because I haven't actually restarted my device since I actually installed the beta profile. So again, we'll need to do that. If it is already working for you, you don't need to restart, install iOS 14 and enjoy. But if that isn't you, then there you go. Um, I mean, I have iOS 14 on this device. I think you do need to actually restore it FS before it installs. Oh, never mind, just ignore what I just said. It was stuck on like checking for update, but it's it was doing it in the background. So let's try again, general software update, and here you go. Here you go. There we go. iOS 14 will start installing. Sorry that this took so long. I don't know why I had to restart, but there you go. That is iOS 14 installing. It says public beta. That's just a bug. It'll be fixed uh, eventually. So I hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial on how to install, well, basically, I was about to say how to install iOS 14, how to fix the unable to verify uh, software update or trying to get iOS 14. Hopefully you enjoyed. Bye-bye.